Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel in which I often share about cryptocurrencies and today I will be sharing about USDT perpetual trading with Huobi which is a cryptocurrency platform that I am using. Now whether you are new or you have been playing crypto for a while, you may have come across this term perpetual trading or perpetual futures and you might wonder what is it so I'm going to try to explain it to you today then you can learn how to trade perpetual futures with me on Huobi. Let's go! Now perpetual means forever so there is no expiry you can hold on to the contract forever there is no time frame where you have to close it by today or you will lose everything. What are futures contracts? Well, futures contracts are a type of synthetic contract whereby if you buy the contract, you do not actually hold the underlying asset itself. But when you open and close your positions, what you exchange is the difference in value. And when we talk about USDT perpetual trading, we are using USDT as the underlying asset as the margin in order to trade the futures contract. Now USDT is a stable coin, which is a category in cryptocurrency world whereby its value is tied to some asset that is relatively stable. So USDT's value is tied to the US dollar. So whenever the US dollar moves, then USDT will move accordingly as well. So this is less volatile compared to other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, whereby their prices can move more than 5% or even 10% in a single day. And it is not surprising. So USDT will be more stable. It is a stable coin and is typically used for perpetual futures contracts. So now we are on Huobi's website. You go to the Futures tab, go to USDT Futures, which will bring you to the Huobi Futures platform. Choose USDN, which means we're using USDT as margin. So here is the Bitcoin BTC slash USDT perpetual futures. You can also choose other contracts like Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, etc. But I will remain at Bitcoin slash USDT. This is the price chart which shows Bitcoin's price. You can look at Bitcoin's price across various time frames. If you are a very short term trader, then you can look at the 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes chart or even a 1 hour chart. Then normally I look at 1 hour, 4 hour and also the daily chart. So this is Bitcoin's current price. The last transacted price here you see the order book so these rows here show the buyers that are queuing up to buy this perpetual futures contract this is the highest price that they are willing to buy it at now these rows here are the sellers this is the lowest selling price that the sellers are willing to sell these futures contract and this is the last transacted market price so from here you can see how actively people are buying and selling this contract. You can see the volume here and also the 24 hour high price, 24 hour low price, 24 hour trading volume in terms of Bitcoin, 24 hour trading volume in terms of USDT. Then we look at this part, which is where you will get to choose your own trading position. So you can choose to trade by opening a market order or a limit order. So if you open a market order, you will want your trade to be executed at the best price possible. So it will transact at the best price available in the market and your trade will be executed immediately. So you would want to open a long position if you think that the price of Bitcoin will go up. And if you think that the price of Bitcoin will go down, then you would want to open a short position. So long means you are bullish, think that price will go up. Short means you are bearish, you think that price will go down and you want to profit in case 
Bitcoin crashes further. Then if you do not want to have a market order, you want to set your own price at which your order will be executed, then you choose limit order. So now you get to key in the price that you want to long or short. Let's say the price is 19472. I want to open a short or a long, say at 19470. Then you can type in 19470 here and you open a long. So your order will only be filled when Bitcoin's price dropped to 19470. Then your long position will be filled. So your trade may not be executed immediately. You may have to wait until price gets to that point. If it does not get to the point, your trade will not be filled at all. But by having a limit order, you get to choose the best price that you want for yourself. So you are in control of when your order is executed at the price that you want it to be. So this is for opening a position. Then after that, when you want to close your position, you will go to the close tab here and then close out your position and then you choose the price at which you are willing to close your position whether you want to close your short or you close your long okay so this open this close market limit short long all right now here we are trading usdt here you get to choose the leverage means that you're able to increase your position size by having an actual capital contribution less than the position size that you want. So for example, if you want an exposure of 1000 USDT with a leverage of 10x, you will only need to put up a margin of 100 USDT and you will have exposure to 1000 USDT because 100 times 10 is 1000. So of course, leverage can help to increase your returns because you put in only 100 USDT, but because your position is increased to 1000 USDT due to leverage, if your prediction of the direction becomes correct, then your returns will be amplified by 10 times. But if you predicted wrongly, and the direction moves against you, then your losses will be amplified by 10 times. So it can be very risky. The higher the leverage, the higher your risk. So the more easily you might get liquidated if the price moves against your prediction. So although Huobi allows you to choose a leverage up to 200 times, you might not want to trade with such a high leverage because you will very easily get liquidated. So do manage your risks appropriately. All right. If you want a tutorial, you can click on the tutorial tab here. Okay. Now we can also use the calculator. Just click on the button here to calculate our potential profit and loss. So let's say I want to open a short position when the price hits 20,000. So now the price is not 20,000. It is 19.444. So if I want to short at 20,000, I would enter a limit order and I would put in the price of 20K and then I open a short. So the price, when the price hits 20K, only my order will be filled. If not, it will just continue to remain there unfilled. And let's say I expect it to fall to 18,500. So at that point of time, I would close off my position and I want an exposure amount of 1000 USDT. Now we remain leverage at 1x. Let's calculate this. So our margin will need to be 1000 USDT. This is what we need to put in. And if the price drops from 20k to 18500, at which point we close off our position, our profit will be $75 and a profit would be a 7.5% gain. So 18,500 divided by 20K minus one, you get this 7.5%, which is your gain. And this translates to a $75 gain. 
Now let's say we increase leverage up to 10 times. And then we let this remain the same. 10 times. Calculate. Now with a leverage of 10 times, we only need a hundred USDT margin to get an exposure size of 1000 USDT because a thousand divided by 10 is a hundred using a hundred USDT margin multiplied by 10 we get a position size of 1000 it is as if we are actually playing with $1000 although we only have $100 in our account and if the same thing happens we enter a short at 20k and the price drops to 18.5k and we close up our position. Now the profit of this, $75, this is 7.5% times 1000, 75. But because we only put up a margin of $100, 75 divided by 100 is actually 75%. So compared to the previous example of no leverage at all, 7.5%. But with 10x leverage, all else remain the same. We put up only 100 USDT as margin. Same profit in terms of dollars, but our percentage gain is amplified. It increases from 7.5% to 75%. So it is a 10x increase in our percentage gain. Right, so this is how you can calculate your potential profit or loss depending on the entry price, the close price, and your position size. So position sizing is really important when it comes to trading futures. It is a way for you to manage your risk. Right? If you need any tutorial, you can also click on this tutorial tab here. Now, other things that you may want to take note of would be this one where you can choose cross margin or isolated margin. Cross margin means that the amount of funds that you deposit in your margin account to trade, those funds are used to finance all of your various positions simultaneously. So you, if you open a few positions at once, if you have a cross margin, then all your funds will be used to finance those positions at the same time. But if you choose isolated margin, then the funds that you deposit in the margin account will only be used to finance that position alone. So in this case, even if one of your positions go wrong, it will not affect your other positions and blow up your entire trading account. So it helps to isolate the risk. And also, you need to take note of the funding rate as well. So the current funding rate represents the rate of the latest settlement at that time frame that it lists here. So when the rate is positive, long traders pay short traders, which means that if you are opening a long position, you will need to pay the traders who are opening shorts. While if it is negative, shorts pay long. So if it is negative, this means that if you're opening a short position, you will need to pay the long traders. So currently funding rate is positive, which means that long traders will need to pay short traders. So if you choose a long, you will need to pay to trade a long position. You need to pay to the short traders. So typically this happens when more people are trading longs instead of shorts. And if you have any questions, do feel free to reach out to me on how you can start your trading journey with Huobi. If you're interested to sign up for a Huobi account, you can use my referral link. Just find it in the description section below. When you trade, you can accumulate rewards as well if you use my link. So feel free to check it out. And if you need any help trading crypto, just reach out to me. You can email me or find me on social media. I will be glad to assist you as well. All right. Now, what I want to show you also is that there is a rewards hub at Huobi. So here you can see that there are prizes to be won every day. 
So you just need to complete simple tasks to win rich rewards. So these rewards are in the form of USDT. So you can actually get real cash by trading. Just convert those USDT to fiat currency later on and this will be real cash to you. So I would say that Huobi is very nice to trade. So do check it out. You can check out USDT futures or if you want to trade in a spot market, then you can just go to spot trading as well.